this installment of the MIDI for the Arduino series, we'll learn how to build a MIDI output circuit. We'll then use the Arduino MIDI library to write a short test program to make sure everything works. If you're new to this series, you may want to go back and watch the MIDI for the Arduino circuit analysis video. It will help you understand how the MIDI output circuit works. Here's the schematic we'll be using to build this circuit. Click the link in the description box below to visit notesandvolts.com to download the schematic, the Arduino program code, and more. Okay, let's start building the circuit. We'll start by placing the MIDI jack at the edge of the breadboard. If you have already built the MIDI input circuit from the previous video, just go ahead and place it beside the MIDI input jack. Each pin on the jack has a number, and you need to make sure that you identify them correctly. For the MIDI output circuit, we will be using pins 2, 4, and 5. When looking at the face of the jack, these pins are located here. When you turn the jack around, notice how the pin numbers are mirrored. It's easy to get confused, so make sure you double check. Once the jack is in place, we'll connect pin 2 to ground. I'm using one wire to jump the middle of the breadboard and a second wire to connect to the breadboard's negative rail. Next, we'll place a 220 ohm resistor from pin 4 on the jack to the breadboard's 5 volt rail. Now, we'll hook up the circuit to your Arduino. Run a jumper wire from the 5 volt socket on the Arduino to the positive rail on your breadboard. Now, run a second wire from the Arduino's ground socket to the breadboard's negative rail. Finally, we'll connect a wire from pin 5 on the MIDI jack to the Arduino's TX pin. This completes the hardware side of the circuit. Now let's take a look at the software. If you haven't already, you're going to need to download and install the Arduino MIDI library. To get to the download page, do a search for Arduino MIDI library or click on the link below. Once you get there, download the latest version of the library. As of this video, it's version 4.2. The MIDI library will download as a zip file. No need to open it, just leave it as it is. Now open your Arduino software. I'm using version 1.6.0. If you're using an earlier version, the installation process might be a little different. In the menu bar, go to Sketch, Import Library, and then click Add Library. This will open up a file browser. Browse to the MIDI library zip file you just downloaded and click open. This will add the library to the Arduino software. You can verify that this worked by going to the sketch menu and then import library. You should see MIDI as an option. Now we can connect the Arduino board to the computer. Before we upload the program, we need to remove the wires from the TX and RX pins. If we don't do this, the program upload will fail. Now we're ready to connect the USB cable to the Arduino board. Click on the link below to visit notesandvolts.com to download the file called MIDI Output Test. Unzip the folder, then click on the program file to open it in the Arduino software. You can test that your MIDI library is working by clicking the Verify button in the upper left hand corner. This will test the program for any errors. If all is well, you'll see Done Compiling in the lower window and no error messages. Now we can send the program to the Arduino board. Click the upload button in the upper left corner. When you see the message done uploading and no error messages in the lower window, you know the program was successfully transferred. 
Now, reconnect the wire to the Arduino's TX pin. Next, insert a MIDI cable into the breadboard circuit. Connect the other end to the MIDI input jack on your keyboard. Make sure the keyboard is set to receive MIDI messages on channel 1. If everything is working, your keyboard should be playing a middle C at 1 second intervals. The Arduino board's LED will flash as a note is played. Congratulations! You now have a functional MIDI output connected to your Arduino. Now let's take a look at the software in more detail. The program starts with the include midi.h command. This tells the compiler to add the MIDI library code to your program when it compiles. If you don't use this command, the compiler won't understand any of the MIDI commands in the program and you'll get an error message. The define command is really just to help us manage the program. It tells the compiler to substitute the word LED with the number 13 whenever it appears in our code. Pin 13 on the Arduino is connected to the onboard LED that we'll use as an indicator light. The next line does exactly what it says. It tells the MIDI library to create a MIDI object with default settings. You can specify custom settings for the name and serial port if you want, but since this is such a simple program, the default settings are fine. Now we get to the program setup function. This function runs only once when the program starts. The pin mode command simply sets the LED pin to be an output. This allows it to turn on the Arduino's onboard LED. This next command is very important. MIDI.begin tells the Arduino to enable communication on its serial port. The parameter MIDI channel off tells the program to disregard any incoming MIDI messages. If I replaced it with, say, a number 2, the program would respond to messages coming in on channel 2. But since this is a MIDI out only program, we don't have to worry about it. Now we get to the program's loop function. This function will execute over and over again for as long as the program is active. The first thing we'll do is use the digital write command to set the LED on the Arduino board high, which will turn it on. Next, we'll use the MIDI library send note on command to play a note. Notice that the command has three numbers in brackets. The first number is the note number you want to play. 60 is middle C. The next number is the velocity of the note, or how loud you want the note to sound. This range can be from 0 to 127, so we want the note to be as loud as possible. The final number is the MIDI channel the note will sound on. We're using channel 1. The delay 1000 command makes the program pause for one second. Now that the note has been sounding for one second, we'll turn it off with the MIDI send note off command. Notice that this command also has the note, velocity, and channel parameters. Since note 60 is playing, we have to make sure we shut off note 60 as well. If we don't, that note will play forever. Now, we use the digital write command to turn off the LED and the delay command to wait for another second. If you have been following this series, you should now be comfortable with the basic technique of adding MIDI to your Arduino. In the next episodes, we'll look at MIDI and the Arduino MIDI library in greater depth. Let me know what topics you'd like to cover in the future in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, visit notesandvolts.com for more projects and tutorials. Now let's go make some noise.